Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be spending just some more time on the ugly truck. I know last time I promised you guys some burnouts after I re-geared the 10 bolt in the back to 430s and put in a true track. And that's still the plan, but I've only got about 300 miles on the rear end and I wanna get it up to about 500 miles of nice gentle driving before I kinda of go nuts and start to have fun with it. So be patient, we'll get there, I promise. Today, we're actually gonna be working on the front end of this thing, because as you can see, well, it's ugly. That's the name of the truck, but I wanna clean it up just a little bit and also add a little bit of safety, because these headlights, they're quite fogged up, they're quite yellowed, they don't look great, and I can't see very well at night either. So, I've got a nice cheap replacement set that I picked up from Amazon, and we're gonna throw them in today. So you might be wondering why the heck I pulled the grill and the bumper off the front end of this thing for just a simple headlight swap. Well, you probably guessed it, there's a little bit more going on than just that. Number one, I wanted to get rid of this uh, home improvement project. Evidently it's a thing in the south, I've actually seen this before more times than I care to admit. Um, people take apart their grill and they put a window screen behind it. And I guess the theory is that it's gonna trap all the bugs and the dirt and the whatever is flying through the air and it'll stop it from plugging up your radiator. Great theory and I think it actually works pretty well but I don't really love driving around with a window screen behind the grill. It gives it a funny look and we're gonna get rid of it. Number two, the bumper. Obviously that's come off and there's another reason for that as well. I'm gonna be adding some fog lights into the pockets and you've gotta kinda of cut out the plastic so you can put the fog lights in the valance so it's a whole lot easier to do that with a bumper off the truck than on. Plus it only takes about six bolts to remove the whole front bumper.
All told, this was probably one of the least expensive modifications that I've done to the truck, and it's improved the looks and safety a whole lot. All together, between the headlights, the marker lamps, the fog lights, and even the little aluminum bow tie thing, I've probably got about 150 bucks in everything. It all came from Amazon. Um, you really can't go wrong there. I don't know how long they're going to last. They're cheap aftermarket lights. Yeah, probably in a couple years they'll kind of yellow out and maybe get water in them or whatever, but that's all right. They're cheap. We'll just replace them or maybe try to seal them up. Um, in the meantime, there are two things that I have left to do. Number one, get the fog lights actually wired up so they'll work. And number two, aim the headlights so they're not blinding oncoming traffic. I got to apologize. This is a little bit of a shorter video for this week, but I promise we get some great stuff coming next week. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.